If you ever need to create a grid in QGIS, this is how you do it. I usually zoom to the area I want to create a grid for. So I've zoomed to South Africa here because I want the grid to cover all of South Africa. And then I go to the vector menu, research tools, and I go to the create grid tool. Now here, you can choose different types. I want a polygon grid. So I don't want points this time. You can have a point grid, or a line grid, or you can have a polygon grid. And from those, you have options of rectangle, diamond, or hexagon. I'm going to choose hexagon. Here, I want my polygons to be 100 kilometers by 100 kilometers. And just make sure you get the units right, because if you, if you do this by mistake and leave it as meters, it will create the world's biggest grid and it'll take forever and it'll probably crash your computer. So sometimes I do that by mistake. I forget to change the meters. So kilometers, kilometers. And then <clears throat> here I want the grid CRS to be what it is. <clears throat> That's fine. And then I'll click the browse button and I'm going to save it to geo package. I'll call this 100 km grid. Save there. Give it the same name for the layer name. 100 km grid. And the last thing we need to do, and you can do it in a different order if you like, I usually do it at the end, it's a grid extent. I'm going to use the current map canvas extent. So you could use the extent of a layer or the layout. I'm going to use the current map canvas extent. And if I hit run, that's what we get. We get a grid that covers the entire screen. So if you need to create a grid in QGIS, go to the vector menu, research tools, create grid, and there's a different grid types, point, line, or three different polygon types.